Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the saturation control. Yes, it's that knob and the VU meter that you see on every mix bus and the master channel. I'm going to show you how I use it, when I crank it up, and when I crank it down. So let's go and have a look. Analog distortion is often harmonically linked to the source material and the right kind of distortion in the right quantities can sound really good. As you can see, the mix window of Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C offers drive controls in the mix buses and the master bus to add that subtle analog style distortion. It does two things. It keeps our transients under control and adds harmonic content. I'm going to put a sine wave through a mix bus and crank up the drive knob. So I've got it set fairly low to begin with. And we see one main signal and there's just a, another bit of harmonics being added. And as I crank up the drive, we see more and more harmonics are added. As you can see, it's not square digital clipping. We've got lots of additional harmonics and a nice sort of soft fold back effect. So what does this mean in terms of an actual mix? Well, let's have a listen to some drums. And I increase the distortion. Can you hear how the kick drum is being distorted a little bit? And the snare. So that can sound really good in a mix. It can add uh, a sense of control. Hopefully you could hear what was going on, but if you want to see this visually, you can print out the output from that mix bus. Here's my version with saturation, with drive, and without. And as you can see, the version with drive has a much more consistent level of transients as well as those harmonics having been added. Of course, you'll probably end up using that drive control on many of your mix buses, whether it's vocals, bass, drums, guitar, all sorts of input sources, even on the master output channel. If you do want to operate mix bus without that distortion, it's as simple as rolling back the drive knobs on your mix buses and your master.